Hey everyone, we haven't had a sit down with you guys in a while, so we thought we would let you know what's going on. We are back in New England. We're taking care of doctor's appointments, seeing family and friends, Brandy has appointments. We're getting all set up for the next season. So that we can leave again. Now on the way to this campground, we stopped by the shoe store and we picked up three pairs of shoes for Maggie. Well, six tires. <laughs> <laughs> so we thought that it would be a good time to talk about tire and tire safety today and explain why we changed all six tires on a 2016 rig that only has 21,000 miles on them. RV tires are different from regular tires. They're more likely to outage themselves before they outwear themselves. And an old tire is a dangerous tire. One of the best examples that I had seen was online. If you take a rubber band and you stretch it, you know, it expands, let it go, it contracts. It's rubbery. Yep. You take an older rubber band, you, you, you expand it, and you can start seeing cracks in it, and it's not as easy to go back and forth. Take an older rubber band and pull it, it breaks. How many times have you done that? Yeah, and <laughs> it's made out of rubber. So aren't the tires that are underneath your motorhome. Matter of fact, the eye that just popped up will take you to a video that shows you what could happen if you get a front tire blowout. That's some scary stuff. Yes, it is. So we were curious just how long, like even a regular car tire would last. We checked with Bridgestone, Michelin, Firestone. 10 years max, that's it. Shouldn't be on any tires more than 10 years old. <laughs> and chances are you're gonna wear out the tread on your daily driver tires first, but not on an RV. No, no, no. As a matter of fact, the general consensus for RV tires is they should be replaced every five to seven years. And we're talking motorhome tires here. As far as travel trailers and fifth wheels go, we've seen that it's more like three to five years, but check with your manufacturer to be sure on that one. On our Class C, we changed all the tires at the six year mark. Yeah, and now if you do the math, Maggie's a 2016, it's actually June 2021. So are we doing it at the five year mark? No, we had every intention on doing it next year. But when we climbed under the RV to check the date code to see just how old Maggie's tires are, well, they were made in September of 2015. And Maggie was one of the last rigs for 2016 on the line. And we picked her up in May of 2016. The tires were already eight months old when we bought her. You gotta remember, Jayco only assembles the motorhome part. The chassis comes from Ford with the tires already on it. And they just put them in storage lots like this. And you can see the tires aren't protected from the sun or, or anything like that. So they just sit there waiting to be built. <laughs> so how do you know how old your tires are? You just ask them, right? <laughs> Actually, what you're looking for is the date code. It's going to be usually only on one side of the tire, so hopefully it's on the outside. Otherwise, you got to crawl under the rig to find it like we did with our Michelins. You're looking for the DOT, the letters, DOT, Department of Transportation. There will be some letters and numbers possibly after it. Go all the way to the end to the last four numbers. should be in an oval. So the first two numbers are the week that the tire was made, and the second two numbers is the year. So the last two numbers of the year. Now, for example, Maggie's tires have a code of 1421. That means they were made at the 14th week of 2021, or sometime in April. Another example is here on our Jeep Wrangler. The tires have a code of 4016, which means these tires were made the 40th week of 2016, which would have been sometime in October. We went to Stratham Tire in Brentwood, New Hampshire. Yeah, we talked to them last week and found out that the Bridgestone 268 Ecopiers that retail for five sixty nine were on sale for three hundred and forty dollars a piece. Plus, we were in New Hampshire, so that's just a bonus because there's no sales tax. And these are four of the six tires we purchased. You should verify the dates before they're installed. Ryan was the tech that changed Maggie's tires. The first thing he did was he jacked up the driver's side, front and rear, and took off the tires. Ryan made that look very easy. <laughs> yeah, now, breaking down the tire without a machine was something that was unexpected. I never realized they came off that way. While the tires were off, Chuck took the opportunity to check out the brakes. Yeah, and just so you know, they were A-OK. -okay. <laughs> then, you know, putting the new tires on was the reverse of how the old ones came off. Same process, basically. It was just a simple matter of airing them back up and repeat the process on the passenger side. Yeah, now we do have wheel cover simulators on Maggie. And because I had the time, I was a nice guy, I took them off and put them back on. By the way, there is a special tool that comes with the simulators if you have them. If you have to bring the RV in for any work that involves the tires, make sure you bring the tool because they do appreciate it. Now Brandy sat in the Jeep for a little bit, but then she was invited into the garage and the tire guys and Brandy got along very well. What Cheryl's trying to say is, Brandy went in there and it was like she was the queen of the tire shop. She could go wherever she wanted, see whoever she wanted. <laughs> All right, guys, just a couple more things we want to let you know what you should be inspecting when you look at your tires, such as a 
Are you adding a lot of air? I mean, Maggie, we've gone months without adding air to her. <laughs> so <laughs> if you're adding air, it could be a problem. You want to have that checked out. Check for bulges. Check for bubbles in the rubber. How about tears? How about cracks? Remember the tire we showed you earlier? That's all dry rot. If that was mounted to your RV or even your car, all that is is a sign that you're about to have a bad day in your near future. <laughs> Take care of your tires. Make sure you keep them clean using a mild detergent and a soft to medium bristle brush. Also, tire covers. We've been using tire covers since our Class C back in 2005. What it does is it helps protect the tires from the sun's UV rays, which breaks down the natural oils that are in the well, in the tire rubber itself. It also helps keep the tires and rims clean because we've been at campgrounds when the water's pouring, <laughs> really rains hard, it's all <laughs> kicking dirt back up all over those tires. With the tire covers, I just shake them off. The tires are still clean. We have a Viair air compressor for when we need to add air to Maggie's tires. Which isn't often, and the way that we monitor it is with a tire pressure monitoring system. These are really just a peace of mind. We check it the day before we're going to leave just to make sure that all the pressures are where they're supposed to be in Maggie and in the Jeep. And then while we're driving, it just kind of sits there. And every so often I glance down and I can see what the tire pressure is. I can see what the temperature is in each tire. And God forbid we ever had a rapid deflation. That thing's going to set off an alarm the same as if the pressure goes too high or the temperature goes too high. Mm -hmm. Just a great peace of mind. We'll have links to all this stuff in the description box down below. The last thing that we are going to talk about has absolutely nothing to do with protecting your tires. It has to do with protecting you and your RV. That, if you have a blowout. Yes, and that is the Safety Plus. It's a steering stabilizer. We've got it specifically in case we ever had a blowout in Maggie. Again, it's one of those peace of mind items. What it will do is it will allow us to maintain center easily than if we didn't have it. Yeah. <laughs> in case we have a blowout, we can work our way over to you know the side of the road. We hope to never use it. Yes, <laughs> uh, and it also helps when tractor trailers go flying by. We don't get blown around as much. No. All right, everyone, we just had to do it one more time. And if you know what we're talking about, leave a comment down below. <laughs> Now, if you guys like this video, we'd appreciate that thumbs up, as always. If you want to become part of the Grow and Get Gone With Us game? Right down there in the corner, just click it and you're in. If you have any questions or comments, you can put them right down below, or you could just say hi. Because we'll say hi back, we always do. Until our next video, I'm Chuck. And I'm Cheryl. We're Get Gone With Us. Bye. Bye.